Hello all, this is Gina Moustakis of The Learning Edge with another SAT tip for you guys. Today's topic, sequence problems. This is a kind of math problem that is going to show up on almost every SAT that you take. We're going to dive right in with a sample problem. Here we go. If the sequence above repeats as shown, what is the value of the 4,112th term? Now, your reaction to this problem could very reasonably be, you have got to be kidding me. The 4,112th term? That's going to take me like seven hours to just write out. Well, I guess it's only, you know, a couple thousand times that I just got to write this sequence out. 4, 2, 8, 11, 13, 21. 4, 2, 8, 11, 13, 21, 4, 2, 8, yeah. Fortunately, this doesn't have to happen to you. There's a much shorter way to solve this kind of problem. Sequence problems on the SAT test your pattern recognition skills. You can use Genius Convenient four-step approach to solve these kinds of problems once you've had enough practice with them. Step numero uno. Write out the first six to eight terms of your sequence. I suggest the first six to eight because most sequence problems consist of six or fewer terms. In the problem above, they've already written out six terms for you. Who says the college board doesn't care? Step numero dos is to identify the repeating pattern. In the case of the sample problem above, they've already kind of done our work for us by telling us that the pattern repeats as shown. So we have 4, 2, 8, 11, 13, and 21 as our repeating pattern. Bada boom, that's done. Okay, the next step, number three, is to figure out how many times the pattern occurs. Now we got some work to do. To figure out how many times the pattern occurs and the number of terms requested, we gotta do some long division. So let me show you what I mean. So we have six terms, and we're going to divide 4,112 by six. We're going to ask, how many times does six go into 41? Six times, which gives us 36. And we subtract, and we're going to get 512. How many times does six go into 51? Eight times. So 48. Subtract it from 512. We get 32 left over. Six goes into 32 five times, and we get a remainder of two. Step numero quattro. Solve the problem. As a general rule of thumb for sequence problems, refer to the following. A remainder of three translates to the third term. Two is the second term, five is the fifth, and a remainder of zero is the last term. So for this problem, the remainder of two translates into the second term, which conveniently is also two, which leaves us with choice A. Let's try another problem and see if you can solve it. What is the units digit of 3 to the 2,140th? You have got to be kidding me. It's okay, Gina. We're going to try the shortcut and see if that works. So step number one tells me that I should write out the first six to eight terms of this sequence. So that's what I'm doing here. Eight terms in total. Well, 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 we have a nifty little pattern here. If we write out the units digit for each number, here's what we see. So we have a 3, a 9, a 7, and a 1. A 3, a 9, a 7, and a 1. You get the gist. We know that there are four terms in the repeating sequence, so now we need to figure out how many times they occur. 4 goes into 21 five times, Minus 20, we get 14. 4 goes into 14 three times. Minus 12, we get 20. 4 goes into 20 five times. Now this leaves us with no remainder, zero. What does that mean? That our last term must be the answer that we are looking for, which would be one in this case, or choice A. Okay, let's try one last problem to make sure you really got it. The sequence of numbers above represents the number of times each day Gina has a Facebook friend request rejected. 
If this sequence of rejections continues indefinitely and the first term of the sequence represents day one of a cycle, how many people will reject a Facebook friend request on the 213th day? Pure fiction. Absolutely pure fiction. Step one, first six to eight terms of the sequence. Well, they've already written out ten, and we can see from this that there's definitely a repeating pattern here, five terms. So we want to find out how many times those five terms occur in 213 cycles. We're going to get 42 with a remainder of three, which means that our answer is the third term of the sequence, or seven, otherwise known as choice B here. There you have it, all you ever wanted to know about sequence problems. Now, if you want some more practice, please feel free to email me at the email listed below, and I can send you some more doozies. All right, this is Gina Moustakis of The Learning Edge signing off. Until next time.